Okay, let's move on to our next question. So it says, Lindiwe bought two bags of dirty marbles from her neighbor at 30 rand per bag. Sure, Lindiwe has a variety of different um, hobbies. Anyways, each bag contained 100 marbles. She intends to wash the marbles before selling them to her friends at school. She uses a cylindrical container to wash the marbles in and as shown in the diagram. So basically, here's the marbles. Tells you the volume of each of them. Then it, she puts these marbles into this container and she cleans them. They tell us about this container. They tell about its height and they tell about it diameter now be careful diameter basically means that if i draw a line from that side of the circle to the opposite side through the middle it's going to be 64 millimeters you need to note right do you see that millimeters and centimeters are different units you're gonna have to think about possibly um changing those into the same units if you're going to use them in the same formula you might be saying your mark you're stressing me out right don't stress all I'm doing is I'm explaining the information. If you don't understand the information, I'll explain it again when we use it. So there's the volume. So they've given us and the circumference and a note, right? They've given us a bit more information. We must note that because we're probably going to have to use it. So let's look at 1.2.1. It will help us give a bit of steer as to where we need to be. So it says, um, use the above information to answer the questions that follow. Lindiwe made a profit of 120% from selling one bag of marbles. Calculate in rounds the selling price of each marble. Now, you need to know the relationship between cost price, selling price, and profit. So let's just write this down. Okay, so please remember to just always um, label correctly. Okay, so um, let's just say, so we know that our profit, right, equals our cost price. Ah, uh, sorry, it's our selling price. Mine is our cost price. We know that that's what profit equals. But what are we working out here? It says, please work out my selling price. So my selling price, and you should know all the different iterations of this. My selling price is my profit, right? So what I put on top of the cost price. So I have to add those two together. So we know that my cost price is 30. We know that. But we have to work out our profits. Our profit is... 120%. So, right, it's talking about one bag, right? So she sold, uh, made a profit of 120% from selling one bag. So one bag costs 30, and we're going to times that by 120%. Put that into your calculator correctly, and that's how much profit she made. Okay, so now go put it over here, and in total, her selling price is then 66 rand. So be quite careful about how you read this. You can't just write the profit because it didn't just ask for the profit. It asked for the selling price. So make sure that you are reading questions correctly because you don't want to miss out marks just because you're not reading correctly. Let's look at the next question. To wash the marbles, Lindewe placed all the marbles from both bags into the cylindrical container. She then filled the container with water. Okay, so she's put all these marbles into the bag, I mean into the cylinder, and then she's poured water in and it's going around the marbles and on top of the marbles. Then it says, Lindiwe stated that more than half a litre of water was required to fill the cylindrical container with the marbles already inside it. Okay, verify showing all calculations whether the statement is valid. So we have this cylinder, right? She's put all the marbles in, she's pouring water in, and it's basically saying, well, work out the volume of all the marbles, right? And then compare that volume to the volume of the full cylinder and see whether the difference in volume is greater than a liter. That's effectively what we're doing. So let's go and do this in a stepwise fashion. I think what happens often is students see questions that are nine marks and they're like, hi, I'm done, right? Don't be. Break it down into small pieces and let's do it together. Okay, so, right. Let's, let's um, look here again. So here's marbles. How many marbles do we have? We have two bags of 100 marbles okay so let's write this nicely so that we are on top of it right so we have 200 marbles okay and what did it tell us it told us that each of them had a volume of two centimeters cubed so we're going to say two times 200 gives me 400 centimeters cubed okay so that is our marbles accounted for okay let's now look at our cylinder Right, our cylinder, we see that the volume of cylinder is all of these times together, but we can see that our height and our diameter are in different units. So we need to convert them, otherwise we're gonna have a little bit of a problem. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this into centimeters. Okay, and you can write that in your in your answer, right? And you'll get you'll get credit for that, right? Because we need to put everything in the same unit in order to use it all in one formula. Okay, so let's look there. Well, not necessarily all formula, but for this formula, we need everything to be in the same measurements. So they're centimeters. So we know that it is volume of cylinder. Volume, and I'm just going to say here, cylinder equals 3.142 times the radius. Now, be careful before we move on. Don't just use pi like it is in your calculator. If it gives you the value of pi, use the value that's given. Don't just put pi in your calculator. Be careful. Okay, here's the diameter. What's the um, relationship between diameter and the radius? Well, we know that the radius is half of the diameter. So we're going to say my radius is 6.4 divided by 2, right, I'm dividing by 2 because I want the radius, times by my height, which is 30 centimeters. So now everything's in centimeters, we've plugged it into the um, formula, and all we need to do is go and solve. Okay, so always be careful, right, to put everything into your calculator correctly. And a lot of what I'm doing in these videos is I'm displaying to you just good exam technique and structure. Okay, so don't, don't, um, undermine how important that is because it really can help you get additional marks. Okay, there we go. So we've accounted for our marbles and we've accounted for our cylinder. So now what I want us to do is I want us to say, well, what's the difference between those two? So we're going to say 965.22 minus 400, right? Put that into your calculator and you'll see that your answer is 565.22 centimeters cubed. Now you could be saying, okay, um, I've done all my calculations, but let me see whether I'm finished. So it says, Lindewe stated that more than half a litre of water was required to fill a cylindrical container with the marbles already inside it. So what you need to look at is this over here. Okay. So it tells you that a thousand centimetre cubed is one litre. So effectively what it's telling you is it's saying one centimetre cubed is one milliliter. So this amount that we've put over here is actually milliliters. Now we know that half a liter, right, is 500 milliliters. And you could be saying, oh, Margie, I don't know that. Well, you should know that, so be careful, right? Is this number larger than that? Yes, it is. So then you say, therefore, Lindewe's statement, right, is true or valid, etc. Please be careful, right, that when you're doing these questions, and I know I've said this again and again and again, you have to write your conclusion. You can't just do calculations and be like, yeah, and my marker will know what's going on. No, right, your marker will know what's going on because they're probably a very qualified professional, but you need to tell them what is going on, okay, so that they know that you know. That's the end of that question. Nine marks, guys, nine marks. Careful with your units, careful to make sure that you understand what's going on, but that's a lot of marks, okay, so you work carefully. Let's move on now to the last question here. Oh, sorry, I'm making a mess of this exam pad. Okay, we're looking at 1.2.3. Let's go see. It says, calculate in centimeters the outer circumference of the cylindrical container used to wash the marble. So basically the circumference, right, of that cylinder. If the container is made of metal, right, of this thickness. So now I want to show you something just so that you understand. Here's a circle, okay? And we know the diameter of the circle is 6.4 centimeters. That's what we were given. But now it's telling you, or you can say that that is the same as 64 millimeters, okay? But now it says it's got this thickness on the outside. So this thickness on the outside, and I'm just giving it an extra little level of thickness, that little thickness there is 0 0.5 millimeters. And that's the whole way around. So on this side over here, is also 0 0.5 millimeters. So now if I was to go from the outside, across the circle to the other outside, it's actually gonna be 65 millimeters in diameter, okay? Because we have to include those outer sides, okay? And you might be saying, Margie, why are you looking at diameter now when we were looking at radius before? Because what is the formula for circumference? It is, 3.142 times the diameter. So we're going to say circumference equals 3.142 3 times by 65. Okay. Now be careful because what we've done here, right, 
is we have done this in millimeters and our answer is going to be millimeters squared or millimeters. It was going to be in millimeters, not in centimeters. So we're going to have to do some little conversions. So you can leave it in millimeters for now, right? But we need to think in our minds, okay, we're not fully done yet. Okay, so we're now sitting at 204.23. Okay, this is millimeters though. We need it to put into centimeters. We need to put the answer in centimeters. Apologies for my English. Divide by 10, right? Because we know that um, there are fewer centimeters than there are millimeters, right? And it's going to be 20.423 uh, centimeters. If you made this 20.42, that's completely fine. But that is your final answer. And we have now finished question one of this paper. And we'll move on to question two. Okay, see you in the next video.